How's it going guys? James with Ryro Studios here in collaboration with Hatchbox. We are going to go and do a full breakdown on a multicolor baby pool and go through the entire process from start to finish on how we essentially were able to accomplish this. So all raw, four different colors. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. I've gone ahead and uploaded the entire baby pool model just to give you an idea and reference on how big this thing is at preset. This is 100% scale, clearly doesn't fit all on the build plate. So what we'll do is we'll scale it down, we'll switch up the orientation a little bit to where it just gives you an idea of what realistically we could print this at and do the least amount of cutting here. So, you know, you could split it up like that. I ended up doing all the pieces individually. So we're looking at, you know, the legs, the arms, the torso or body, the head, and all the accessories involved with that. So um, this one is going to be, you know, you could easily do a 50%, no problem at all, um, which a lot of people that have already printed this, they typically will be around that 50%. I ended up doing 80% personally, just so I can get more of an understanding and more of an experience and on what we're able to do here with baby pool and doing all of what is considered the multicolor printing process for this raw print. Plus you also have to realize if you were to do it whole, there's a lot of variables that come into play. This would probably would have taken a, a week most likely to print at 50% with all the overhangs and all the tree and supports that would have to be involved here. You know, realistically, this is not something you want to go for, but you know, if you really wanted to try it out, you definitely could. I just prefer to cut everything up, which thankfully this model already has the pieces cut up in different segments. So printing this would, wouldn't make it rather difficult at all here. For sure, there's a lot of tools that you can utilize in Bamboo Lab Studio. So it can be a little bit overwhelming if you're new to this entire process. But as we jump into the next slide here, when we're looking at the multicolored process, we want to make sure all the right colors are put in the right place. This model has an insane amount of detail involved. So we have to make sure that, especially with the reds, the blacks and whites, we definitely don't want the colors to bleed into each other. So when you're going in and painting the different colors involved here, you'll notice how some parts you can see are jumping between different colors. And what we'll do is we'll go in there, we'll sharpen a few things up, and it should be prepped and ready for the printing process. In this video, really just going over the head in general, but I did this with all the other parts involved, from the legs, the arms, the body, and all the accessories. It takes a little bit of time getting used to, but once you figure out the schematics involved here, you'll realize it gets a little bit easier as you move along throughout the process. So take your time, and don't rush it. Once everything is cleaned up, of course we gotta send it over to our printers. I am showing you how I oriented every single piece involved here throughout the print process. Didn't do a time lapse or anything like that just because it's pretty repetitive, but this will give you a great visual representation on how I printed these pieces and how they were set up. So when it comes to the filament involved, I use the Hatchbox, just standard PLA. Over here we have the Iron Red. That basically took about four rolls in itself. Then you have the Black over there. That typically took about three, and that we have the True Black, which is basically their standard here. And then with the others involved, we had the True White, which is another standard one and the true orange another standard pla bringing the total to nine total rolls involved here 
Let's go ahead and get these boxes out of the way. That way we can get started with taking off the supports involved with this build. Now each individual piece involves a tree support of some kind and depending on the orientation involved here, it can be fairly easy or it can be rather difficult, which we'll kind of see as I speed up through this process. As you can see here, I'm using my small cutters to get some of the harder spots that I couldn't get with just my bare hands. When it comes to taking off the supports for the bigger pieces, they relatively will come off a little bit easier than the smaller ones involved because you definitely don't want to break anything when it comes to this. The body definitely took some time to get together and made sure that when I was pulling off the supports that I wasn't pulling off of the actual print. You'll notice at the bottom, it was quite the task to take those off. But what's great about that, it's not going to be exposed. So based off the orientation of the build and where it sits, you won't really see that anyways. And you'll notice that with some of the other pieces involved here, there's a reason why I oriented certain parts certain ways, just so for the sake of the build, for time constraints, whatever the case may be, it just made the most sense. As we work through the limbs, such as the arms and legs, I'm only going to show one of each side. They're the same thing. It doesn't make sense to go through it twice in a video for time's sake, and you'll understand the gist of it. So with this, definitely quite a messy process on removing the tree supports involved here. So I definitely sped up this process just off camera so I wouldn't make any mistakes. And then you'll see uh, there is a little bit of fragments still being shown completely fine here only because I'll have it laid and show you that it won't be seen unless you pick it up and look under. So with that being said, both of those legs just perfectly fine. With a close up detail of the bottles now, you can see the only time I used orange was for the tips of the bottles here. I didn't go too crazy with the swords here. I only printed just a little bit of the blade so it fits snug in the sword holder, only because I don't think it would be durable enough anyways. So these pieces considered frail, I didn't want to put it to any risk here. Finally, it's time to start putting everything together. So with the binky, I actually scaled it to 78% scale. That way it wasn't giving me too much fight when I had to put it in there. Didn't need hot glue for that, need hot glue for everything else involving pieces that need to be put together. So really it's just me going through the process step by step. I'd be careful with the arms though. There's a little slivet right there that it needs to kind of hug into to make sure that the arm fits in flush. So same thing on the other side. And I say that because I made the mistake, as you can see there, uh, I actually started with the legs first. So the way this is kind of set up, definitely crucial to get the arms in place first, then the legs to make sure everything fits the way it should. As mentioned earlier in the video, I explained how I only did pieces of the blades involving the swords. There's a little insert in those holders that make it fit just right and then it doesn't get knocked out of place. I also scaled the bottles at 78%. That way I knew for a fact it would fit in a little bit easier than it was at 80% when I originally printed it. So with the 78% scale fits just fine. And then with the sword holder, I actually scaled it up 2%, so 82%, and that fit fine as well. We now have the completed product. The first multicolored baby pool from Hatchbox's filament, consisting of all the colors I had mentioned earlier. So let's get a deeper look into this and see how well this actually came out. So look at all the details that were able to be captured between the filament used, the printers used, the program used. Yeah, I really did enjoy building this. So let's take a few moments here and capture all the details close up from different angles and different perspectives. That way you understand how truly amazing this is to have a multicolored raw print done right in front of your eyes.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to both Hackbox and Ride Rose Studios on all social media outlets, specifically YouTube and Instagram, as we further go along with these videos and tutorials. So, yeah, other than that, we'll talk to you guys later.